We've been dying to get off grid on Vancouver Island for the winter, but building a tiny home out of an ambulance took a little longer than expected. It's taken a while to get here, but we finally touched down in British Columbia's capital of Victoria, BC, where we were only planning on passing through for one day, but we're about to learn that not everything goes according to plan. Okay, so we're going from here, all the way down here. And it will only take an hour and a half, I guess. Okay. We're already 40 minutes late, so. <laughs> yeah. Off to a great start. last night and oh my god it feels like it took forever to get to Vancouver Island so for context if you didn't know um, we've been trying to get to Vancouver Island well, we want to come out here in September and it is now November and it's taken this long because obviously we took longer than we expected building the ambulance and then it was our niece's birthday and then it was my birthday and then it was my mom's birthday. Well, my mom's birthday before mine, but... Then I had to go to the Central Coast and we decided to stay there instead of going to the island and then back and then back. Exactly, and Nick then... So a couple, a couple things have happened in the recent, the most recent days. So um, Nick got into a skateboarding accident and he is injured, so um, his finger was messed up on one hand his knee was messed up and his thumb was messed up on the other hand so we went to the hospital and spent the whole day at the hospital on the Sunshine Coast getting x-rays and all of that and turns out his pinky is just broken the knee isn't actually the knee's fine just needs, a fluid in my knee yeah um, so he's still like whole you're still hobbling around but yeah, it's hard to bend my knee yeah so there's that. And then the next day, uh, we got to the Tawasin Ferry Terminal. And since we were at the hospital the day before, um, I got really nervous because I woke up with a cough. And um, obviously, that is a symptom of the thing that's going around. So we obviously didn't make any moves. We quarantined and went and got tested and waited for our test to come back before we left this van and the tests were negative Woohoo! but that took an extra day so after we got our negative test results we finally got our ferry tickets ended up in victoria last night and now we are finally here on vancouver island and so happy about it so we woke up today and we're about to start the day with a hike even though nick is not <laughs> at his yeah, very per best. Perfect day to go for a hike when my knee is full of fluid, but I definitely need to do some walking around, so. Yeah, we'll see how far we make it. No pressure! As long as there's no big hills, I should be fine. <laughs> After our nice little hike, decided to come into the city. Um, fun fact, if you don't know anything about Canada, uh, Victoria is the capital of BC, so uh, the parliament buildings are here, so that's where we are now. So we're just down here checking out the parliament buildings. Um, I'm not sure if I've ever been here. Rachel definitely has, but I've, I don't think I've ever been here. I've been to Victoria since I was like very young. It's very government-y. Yeah. I feel like I've written a lot of letters to MSP <laughs> and I directed them to where we are at right now in my time of being a BC resident. That's Wait. why we're here now. We're gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go we're gonna knock go down their door. Hi government. <laughs>
had pretty good luck with Victoria. Every time I've come here, it's been very sunny. So hopefully tomorrow we get some sun, but hey, this is okay for now. Okay, so this is Vancouver and like this is Vancouver Island all up here. So what we're looking at, we're on obviously in Victoria, and then over here, that's all America. So I'm pretty sure there's a little monument out there that basically is the um, border between America and Canada. And then if you go around here, then you're out into like the open Pacific Ocean, North Pacific. Damn. But yeah, this is just like. A little inlet here, the Salish Sea is what it's called. And then shoo, that's the border. We are in Canada's oldest Chinatown, fun fact. Um, and we are just about to go get some delicious vegetarian food. And um, we are expecting nothing but the best, so <laughs> still, you better step up, Victoria, because we're coming for you. up here in beautiful Victoria, British Columbia today and we learned that um, the enforcement here doesn't really love the whole van life thing so that's fine but luckily um, one of my really good friends from high school Kate lives here with her boyfriend Kevin and um, we were able to stay in their parking spot so we've actually woken up at the same spot we were yesterday which is here at the breakwater and as you can see it's a way sunnier day today so we are stoked for another day of exploring this beautiful city and feeling good so let's get into it uh, we have some very spontaneous and funny news to share with you all but uh, first we're going to go to a place that we absolutely have been dying to try. Um, yeah, let's go check that out first and then uh, we'll let you know what we've been up to after this, man. <laughs> So we got a couple things here. We got the ribs. We got this delicious vegan cheese. And then we got vegan smoked salmon. So we are having lox bagels tomorrow, that's for sure. And then we got like a whole, oh my God, that's falling. And then we got a whole bag of food in here um, that we are going back to eat. And we will describe where we're going any minute now. got two of the Big Macs to go. So they're in here and they look, oh, I wish you guys could smell this right now. And then a nice old big vegan poutine. Oh my God. This doesn't really look like the ambulance. It's, it's pretty bright and there's a, a lot more space in here. Um, so you might be wondering whose house we're in. Uh, anyways, we got lucky and our friends uh, needed to head to Vancouver for the weekend and they were gracious enough to offer us their place so we are dog sitting and um, hanging out here so we've got this little baby little blue this is blue so um, yeah so this is this is our life for this weekend it was a very very spontaneous decision um, none of us were expecting this whatsoever but 
um, we couldn't be happier because look! So as much as we're not quite ready to settle down for good, we'll make our way up Vancouver Island, remembering that house sitting in Victoria showed us some pretty cool places and opportunities right in our own backyard. And who knows, one day this may be the place for us.